Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bracknell for a night of professional boxing. Brought to you by Al Siesta on behalf of Siesta Boxing. And overseen by the British Boxing Board of Control tonight, your student charge, Mr. Ben Harmsworth. This is being broadcast in live around the world on Fightbox. This is the Battle of Bracknell. Make some noise! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first boxer into the ring from Cornwall, England, Wes Smith! Welcome to Five Box HD, everybody. Adam Noble Forsey here. I'm joined with Sam O'Reilly. We're good at evening, good afternoon. Siesta Boxing Promotions Battle of Bracknell. It's about 30 plus degrees in here at the moment. So we are melting a little bit. Yeah, we are melting a little bit. In comes Wes Smith, 3 0 from Cornwall. This is being fought at 152 pounds. What do you think of this fight, Sam, coming up? Good fight. And, and now, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen please. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good to see two undefeated boys go against each other early stages of their career. But he's very well thought of, Ryan Dante. Rowan Dante. What do you make of the show so far, Sam? Good setup, mate. It's good not setup. Bad, is it? Definitely a good setup. Bringing, bringing boxing to Bracknell. Yeah. Lots of people about. And a great entrance song to start us off from Rowan Dante. Yeah. Here comes uh, Rowan Patrick Day from Ireland, born in Manchester, is a resident in Dubai, and has recently linked up with Johnny Edwards, who's a, a, big, a big figure in the area, with uh, Guildford City Boxing. Someone's O has got to go. Just waiting for him to come in now. It's making him wait a little bit. Bit of showman. turned his back on boxing, but then fell back in love with the sport. This is actually his first fight in the UK, having two in Ireland and two in Dubai. Here he comes now. Nice set up. He's got the Peaky Blinders yeah. hat on. <laughs> I like that. A little bit of personality, you know? Let's see if he transfers it into the ring. Yeah, very explosive fighter, right? He's not really. He's not really. Ladies and gentlemen, Al Siesta on behalf of Siesta Boxing presents four three-minute rounds in the Super Welterweight Division. And in the red corner, wearing the red shorts with a white trim, weighing in at 12 stone, 13 pounds. He is undefeated with a record of three wins and no losses. From Cornwall, England, Wes Smith! And in the blue corner, wearing the right, here we are, white boys and girls. Shorts, Get ready for it. Rowan Day against Wes Smith, 4 and against 3 and out. He's an Irish international, seven times all Ireland champion. A lot of sparring champion. rumors going on around around Rowan Day. Yeah, no, more than more than a few. Yeah, he's making a lot of noise. He's been uh, sparring the likes of Josh Kelly and many of the other former GB team members. He sold a few tickets, actually. He's not even from the area. He's from Waterford. And he, he sold out an arena there. It was like one of the first boxing events to take place in Waterford. Mike Perez headed the card, but Rowan Day sold most of the tickets. So. Should be a very good fight. Yeah, should be a good fight. This. Both boys putting their undefeated records on the line. Early stages of their career. Yeah, you've got to take your hat off to Rowan here as well. He's sort of fighting well above. Like, you can look at him. He's, he's not. He looks like a big He's a midget difference. like middleweight, isn't he, really? So... Seconds out. But yeah, they, they've been saying he could get down to Welter or even light Welter. Here we go. A lot of excitement about Rowan Day. There's a wide stance straight away. He leads that, that left is quite far away from his body, so he's going to come under the long range of Wes Smith. Yeah, Wes is a tough guy as well. First 30 seconds of the first round. Work each other up. Both fighters proudly representing their their areas. You can see on uh, Wes Smith's short, shorts, he's got the Cornish flag there, and Rowan Date with the the Irish emblem. It's a very good shot, Date lands. 
Took it well though, Smith. Looks for an uppercut as well. He looks already, you can see, there's a nice variation of shot on him. On Rowan Day, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. He's throwing uppercuts early. Yeah, I think both his last fights lasted less than uh, less than a minute, so. So he's already deep in the trenches for what he's used to. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's going to be good to see, you know, both. Oh, that's a very good shot. Very good shot. But this is good. This is a real fight. Do you Definitely. know what I mean? What, we're, we're, you know, in the early stages of the, the card, and we've got two undefeated fighters going against each other. Should be a very good night. Yeah, this is this what is British boxing good... needs more of. This. Well, exactly. This is the kind of fight you want on, on shows that are being streamed. You know, guys, tune in for fights like this. There's not a massive difference in quality between the two fighters. Um, you could see so far nothing that obvious. So, oh, that's a nice chance. Tripling up the jab yeah. there, Dave. Smith keeping himself quite composed, though, although the, the jabs are You can see, actually, the work Johnny Edwards has put in. He's sort of known for honing boxing skills, whereas Rowan, if you look at his last, last couple of fights, he's a little bit erratic because he's got so much power. But you can he... see you can see the work Johnny Edwards has put in already. Yeah, it's, it's he's got a small nick there on his left eye. Oh, he's cut I, early. I don't know if that was heads or if that was a shot. We'll um, hopefully we'll see a replay between rounds. But... Yeah, Wes Smith definitely knows his way around a ring. So it could... <laughs> I like Date's variation. He comes over with the right, but isn't scared to throw the right uppercut as well. Quite hands down style at times, especially when he's out of range. Obviously, he's not. He has to stay honest. He can't be doing that when he's close up. Yeah. But he feels comfortable already, you know. How's that cut looking on his arm? Doesn't look too. No, he looks okay. Looks okay. Move the blood away. Isn't trickling down. Definitely not affecting the vision. So it should be okay. It brings to the end of the first round. Two really nice characters in the ring. But the pleasure to meet them both this week. The end of the first round. Did you give that one to Sam? I'm giving that to Date. Yeah, I've given it to Date. Cleaner the, work, cleaner yeah, shots. Yeah, the nicer. I don't think Smith has... Um, he hasn't established the range yet. He hasn't managed to land. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what he can do in the second round. Good fighter. But a big step up for him, you know? There we go. You see the weight difference there with Smith trying to... That's the shot. That's, that's the shot of the round. Uppercut, Superb, that shot. That's beautiful. Look at that. Rocked him to Rocked him a bit as yeah, well, didn't it? definitely. Stays busy. That's another date. nice shot. Yeah, though. good shots there. Stays busy, Date. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't just step back and look to. I did an maintain. interview with him a couple of weeks ago, and he said he likes to try. He, like when he goes into a fight, he's like, yeah, I'm going to try and get some rounds under my belt. Corners, and ten he seconds. Smells blood, and he sort of wants to get him out of there. But at least he's got one round under his belt tonight. So. <laughs> seconds out. <laughs> round two. In the last few times. Yeah, very attack-minded. You can see the way he sets himself up. He gets out of the way, those yeah, shots nice very well. There. You can already see the pattern because Smith is longer, so he's looking to land those long one-twos, but he can't get near him because Date's movement is too good. Oh, again, nice and then work. the shot there, the counter shots are superb. Smith comes back with a jab there. Give a wild swing to the body. Very, uh, so it's quite smart boxing this actually from from Rowan, Rowan Day. I was expecting something a little bit, a little bit different, but yeah, this is very good. I'm very happy with this from what I'm seeing. Good quality fighters at such an early stage in their career. Yeah, both of these. Both landed there. They're both coming to fight, that's the thing. No one's here to give their, their undefeated record away. They're both making each other work for it. Okay, looking to establish that jab more. Good feet. He likes that hands down style, but as I say, it's when he steps away. He doesn't do that in too close, he stays honest. He's a bit of a showman. And sort of like outside of the ring, he's got uh, he's got a nice bit of confidence about him. Now the way in yesterday, was one of the life and souls of the of the event. I tell by the Peaky Blinders hat. <laughs> 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 he 
You can see the strength difference, though. Smith's a strong man, you know, and he's naturally the bigger man, as yeah, you yeah, said. Yeah, much bigger. And you can tell, because when they're in close, he's not being moved, he's not allowing himself to get his back up against the ropes. He's getting out of there and trying to maintain range. The problem he's having is data is very elusive. Yeah, but he just he popped out. He looked for two seconds ago. He popped out of danger there. That's some good work. Oh, again, by trying by a good up uppercut. the uppercut, which kind of half connected. But in a true siesta boxing style, another 50-50 fight we've got here. It's our siesta's mantra, isn't it? He wants 50-50 fights, he wants both guys coming to Don't win. we all? Don't we all? I'm, I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of... Uh, like, I get it, you know, we, we need to... Uh, the fighters need to have a couple of warm-up fights, I understand, but... It's a lot of money to charge people to come and watch something you know, you definitely know what's going to happen. Yeah, of course. Bit sloppy at times, a little bit messy. Yeah. I think that Smith trying to... He's trying to enforce a little bit of dominance, but he's not having a lot of success yet. Well, yeah, I imagine. I imagine his team have been like, this guy's not used to going many rounds. Yeah. Um, he has gone the distance one, Rowan Day, in his, in his four fights. And, uh, yeah, so that, that could be you know, a big part of their, their game plan. Both fighters look OK, though. They both, look, they both still look strong. They both still look like they've got something in the tank. We've got four rounds here. Yeah. Rowan Day was actually asking for six rounds. Was he? Yeah, 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 until the end of the fight. Yeah, we can see Wes Smith there having some success. I think I just shaded that round to, to Day again. Yeah, um, I did as well. Cleaner the... work. But it's, it's by no means, you know, clear cut. Again, yeah, it's decisive. not that clear cut, yeah. Wes Smith is... Um... Corners, ten seconds. He's not going down lightly, definitely. But yeah, anything could happen. We're in sort of halfway stage. Seconds stage, out, so... round three. Smith has an early success with a the jab there. Date to the body. See Johnny Edwards there in the corner, marking instructions. I mean, you can see the pattern is set. Date yeah. was trying to get that range, and he's just. Yeah, sorry, Smith is trying to get the range. That's better. He's got to come in with the shots, but he has to make sure he's doing it before Smith, Date is settled. Smith's got such good range that. He's always going to, like, if Date's going to come in at him, he's going to get hit, usually. Yeah. So, he's at least get a jab on him. What so. he can't allow Date to do is dictate the pace and the angles and where the fight is happening. That's good, that's better. Uh, a little bit erratic there from, from Smith. I mean, he's probably realised he lost the first two rounds. Yeah, he probably does. He needs to do something, something needs to change for him to be victorious. Definitely put his foot on the gas a little bit more. Exactly. Three as a word. Keep the header. It's just not landing. Date is so elusive. Yeah, it's really nice movement actually. And it's, again, it's frustrating. Very nice. It is frustrating. Oh, lovely, me. lovely jab, uppercut again. Yeah, nice work from Rowan Day. Club and blows now. Comes up the middle again and again. He likes that uppercut. It does. Ooh. Wild swing. See John Edwards a screaming jab after that, after that missed shot. Smith trying to smother him, to no avail, really. Yeah, again, it's a little bit messy. Smith's trying to... I'm not sure, you know, he knows he's got to change something, but he's not having the success inside because those uppercuts are hurting him. He's swinging wildly from the outside. Yeah, That's a good, a good uppercut. Good uppercut there. But I'd say to every good shot that comes from Smith, you get three back from Rowan Day. Agreed. So. Yeah, agreed. And that's the problem he's At having. Least. 
lands there. Smith's hands look a little bit another nice. Date's hands are a little bit too low for my liking. You know, so I know it's yeah, only the I third, agree. third I agree. or fourth rounds, but he should stay a little bit more, a little bit more honest, you know. Changes to southpaw for a little bit, throws the left uppercut. Loading up with that uppercut. He is. Yeah, Smith sort of calmed down a little bit towards the end of that round, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, that's a, that's a more difficult round to score for me because the aggressor was definitely Smith. The cleaner shots are coming from Date. Um, I think you have to shade it to Date again. Uh, which, which is harsh, I guess, on Smith because he is in the fight. Yeah, definitely. But I, I have to give the, the round to date again. And Sam O'Reilly's unofficial scorecard. We've got three rounds to none so far. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's hard because I know the, you mean. the man's I know here you mean. to fight. You know, he's not by any means sitting there taking the shots, but I just think the cleaner work has been by date uh -huh. and he's, he's picked every round. Edwards getting very excited with Rowan Data. Corners, 10 seconds. Okay. They're looking for the knockout here. They're really looking to make a statement here. Seconds out. Team Rowan Four, Day. Final round. Been some great action though in those first three rounds. I enjoyed that. Flash of styles, you know, because Date likes the flashy shots. He likes to be hands down at times. And he throws, you know, you have to be very comfortable to throw as many right uppercuts as he has yeah. done. Sure, they say stars make fights. It's been nice to see Rowan Day get some rounds under his belt, to be honest. But they're only going to stand him in good stead the more fights he has like this. Definitely. Well, this, this is a tough fight for him for him to take, to be fair, against, against Smith. Um, as for Smith to take on Rowan Date. So, you know, you look at Luther Clay, who's headlining the, the car tonight, he's, he's done in the world again, yeah. fighting, fighting tough people so far in his career. He's even got a loss on his record, but I'd say it's made him an even better fighter. A lot of fighters should realise that there's, you know, you, you win or you learn. There's, yeah, there's no shame exactly. in picking up a defeat if you're going to learn from it and come back better. Exchanging body work right now. Smith looks a little tired from being honest. He does honest. look a little tired, yeah. Pulls his head down there, lands a shot. The uppercut's nice. come back from nice. Dave. It's got a little bit sloppy this round, you know. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know if they're both tired, I don't know if they're trying well, it's, too it's, hard. Well, it's early days in their careers, yeah. to be fair. They're not... Still, they're both still going for it. No, they're not really taking a step back, either man, in this in this final round. So, Rowan Day with a good shot. I mean, the strength of Smith, like we touched on it earlier, Date can't pin him against the ropes, can't pin him in the corners. And Smith stayed active, you know, he's not allowed himself to be bullied in there. I think just the cleaner shots have been... That, that's another oh, super great game. uppercut. Those yeah, uppercuts see some damage, real damage to his face now. We're into the final minute here. Another good shot there from Rowan Date. You certainly know what shot to look out for if you're fighting Rowan Date. Both fighters not from anywhere really near the Bracknell area. Both did well with tickets. You can hear them, hear their fans cheering in the background. Both punching, still punching. 20 seconds left Great on the see. clock. Great to see. You can definitely see the damage of that left eye now. Oh, yeah, good Lands fight. a good right on the break. Coming to fight. That's Date's hands too low. His hands shouldn't be as low as that when he's stepping no, back. Be. You know, it's different when you're out of range, but you, you have to get out of that I range. Can I can that. see Johnny Edwards in the corner agreeing with you. <laughs> so I should say. That's a good fight. Good fight, that. That's a good fight. You know what? I want to give the last round of a 10-10. They both yeah, no, you... on the line. Nothing against drawing rounds. I score it 40 37 to Rowan Date, or Date, as they said, <laughs> as the, the announcer's calling him. <laughs> but um, listen, I think it's a good fight, mate. And for both of them to come early stage of their career, 3 0 and 4 0, fair play Definitely. to the boys. Hats off. They put it all on the line there. That was a really good fight. Yeah, that eye's not looking great on uh, Wes Smith. Another 
uppercut you can see there from blood everywhere. Waiting for Ricky Wright to read out the scores. decision the referee Mark Bates has asked me to ask you to show your appreciation of both boxes in what was an excellent contest very happy crowd here in Bracknell Siesta Boxing Promotions and after four rounds of action we've had to go to the referee scorecard Mark Bates scores about 39 to 39 a draw let's hear for Wes wow. Smith and Rohan Darte 39-39. Interesting scores. Well, they were both in the fight. They were, but I, I thought... I clearly thought gave Dave, it a row Dave personally. I did. I thought Dave did the, the cleaner work, especially in those first two. I thought that was enough to, to pinch it, but apparently not. Well, it'll stand them in both good, good stead for the future of their careers. Great fight to uh, start the evening off, though. Team still very proud of him. Johnny Edwards doesn't seem too unhappy there as he talks to his fighter about the draw. It's Rowan a difficult one, isn't it? Because yeah, it's a bit of a shame. I thought Rowan, I thought, I thought the quality of work was was quite obvious in comparison to Wes Smith, but he was given up, given away a lot in weight. So there we go. Some of the replays here. Some of that yeah, the uppercut was. That's sort of what changed the was the difference for me, that uppercut from, from row, row and date. Yeah. And the movement was very good. 39-39. Yeah, I thought row and one.